joined now by Yang Yuquang. He's a professor at the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation and a frequent guest on our program. We talk a lot with you about the space program. Talk to us about the importance of this upcoming Chang'e 5 mission. Well, you know that Chang'e 5 belongs to the third step of China's lunar exploration program. Uh, there are three simple Chinese words uh, expressing the, uh, the, this project, uh, which is called Rao Luo Hui. Rao means orbiting, uh, which is accomplished by the Chang'e 1 mission. And Luo means landing, uh, which has been accomplished by Chang'e 3 and Chang'e 4, especially Chang'e 4 landed on the far side of the moon. And Hui means sample return. So this is very important. This is the first step of China's uh, lunar exploration program, but this will be not be the end of China's uh, lunar exploration program. Uh, if this Chang'e 5 lunar mission can be successful, in the future, we will focusing on the South Pole regions because from the engineering aspect and from the scientific research aspect, the South Pole is very important. So in the future, we will have a sample return mission from the South Pole and also have the on-site uh, resource utilization uh, research on the South Pole. So in the future, I hope that this kind of mission can benefit the whole world. Yeah, so break it down for us. One of the key parts of this journey, of course, this robotic arm and the drill, that's going to help collect samples from the moon surface. And that's important, but it would also be the first time material from the moon would re be returned to Earth since 1976. So this is a huge accomplishment, isn't it? Exactly. So this is the most complicated mission performed by uh, China Air Space. You know that, as you mentioned, the uh, former Soviet Union also has the sample return missions, a robotic one. But that's much simple because the ascender, direct ascend from the lunar surface and uh, come back to the Earth directly. But this time, our mission will be more similar to the Apollo program because our configuration, the lander and the ascender is like the lunar modules of the Apollo program. So we will also have a lunar orbit, rendezvous and uh, stalking. So this is, will be the most dangerous part and uh, we haven't do that before. So if we can be successful, it will have more samples uh, than the, all those, the total sum of the samples get by the former Soviet Union, mainly about uh, two kilograms. And as you said in the past when we've talked about this, all of this are kind of building blocks in this program. Each step is, is, is important. And next month there's talk that there will be a Long March 8 launch, and that's going the efforts to construct the country's planned space station. So walk us through what, what's next as we look forward. You know, that uh, you mentioned the Long March 8 will be a very economical launch vehicle. In the future, we hope that also we will uh, master the technology of reusable and recovery of launch vehicles. So Long March 8 will be the first step of China Aerospace to do this kind of attempt. But this one, next month, will not be, uh, uh, will not recover this uh, launch vehicle. In the future, Long March 8 will improve this kind of te technology. So you see, China is already a very big country in the space field, but in the future, we will also hope that we can reduce our cost uh, remarkably. And th uh, with this way, we can do more contribution to the whole world and also benefit the whole, uh, daily life of our common people. And uh, it's been a busy year for the space program. The pandemic has sidelined so many businesses. I was reading today that China has now carried out 34 launches in 2020. That's really remarkable. Um, talk to us about the space program and just what we've seen in this year when there's been so many setbacks everywhere else. It seems like the space program keeps marching forward. Exactly. Uh, you see that China is already a big country in space field. As you mentioned, we have the top one launch, uh, launch times uh, this year and the year before last. So in the future, we also hope that we can be an advanced country because you know that still China is not uh, an advanced country in this field. To achieve this goal, in the future, we have to accomplish the uh, China's manned space station program and also uh, the leaders of China Aerospace have already expressed their wish to have a uh, uh, manned mission to the moon. So you see, sooner or later, I believe we can see the Chinese astronauts walk on the moon. And also, we will have in, uh, a continuous improvement of our Beidou navigation uh, program and also the high definition Earth observation programs, uh, these are, have, have direct returns to the national economy. Professor Yang, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for taking time to talk to us tonight. Thank you.